Yeah, greetings, great beer friends, lovers of freedom, IPOB, one family, one family, IPOB. Uh, we are here once again. This is Coastal Biafra TV, which is made up of the the entire ethnic, or should I say, speaking languages in the coastal region of Biafra. Uh, every one of us are here. And if for some reason some of us are not here, it means that today they could not make it to come to the meeting. But I can tell everyone out there that we are all, you know, legally represented mm -hmm. to air our voices as far as this... Uh, platform is concerned. First of all, before we proceed to our today activities, we want to make this uh, little announcement that uh, we remain strong, we remain resolute. I repeat, we remain strong and we remain resolute and we have to be strong. Whatever that has happened, we, you know, doesn't have any effect on us, but rather it makes us to, you know, jar up our agitation, it makes us to jar up our energy and, uh, you know, boost our strength because our effort need to be doubled. Uh, for people who are in Germany, of course, you all know, on uh, Friday, we'll be having a, a, a very massive protest in the, in the capital city of Germany, and also across the entire Western world, down to America and the Asia, we'll be doing so. So before we go into our today activity, we want to also play a music to also honor our leader, Mazina De Cano. Uh, he remains our leader, he remains our leader. And before we do that, we say nothing must happen to him. And I sh I'm sure that those idiots who are the politicians in Biafra land, they know what it means when we are saying what we are saying. Because if not, they should be relocating to somewhere in Sabita or somewhere probably in Niger or Benin Republic. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, Yeah, but they are not going to be a 
Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Once again, we welcome you to the Coastal Biafra TV. We are here as a media team to support this, the restoration of Biafra, to add our effort to the restoration of Biafra. And we are IPOB under, under the leadership of Mazuna Dekanu. Before I would like to give the microphone to someone to pray before we proceed, I will not also forget because some people, especially the enemy, the ginger weed and the, 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 the lovers of one Nigeria will be like, hmm, these people are still here. I thought they are their leader. We are happy and we are strong and we are dancing, shaking our head, dancing to the two because you know why? The, the hope we have is too much because now they cannot, you can't mess with him because it, those who, those who are representing, especially in the Biafra land, they know, they know. They have a consulting there and they know they better don't mess up because they know the heat already. They, 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 so we, in fact, we, we are just, we are just, in fact, we, we are on our, in fact, we are just doing our thing. So we are just watching them to do whatever they feel they want to do. So we are very happy. We are very strong. We are very courageous. And we, we, we are careless. We, we, we don't even care about what some of all these useless Nigerians, useless Nigerians are thinking of us. Like we should be crying. Uh, they are less in the No, we are not crying. We are not willing. We are not owing anybody apology, but we are strong because we know that you cannot try to to, to attempt or to dare or to try to you know uh, uh, contradict whatever to attempt to our leader Mazuna Dekano because we know who he is and you know who he is. You try to deal with him, you deal with yourself. Uh, before then, I would like to hand over the microphone to our our sister uh, if you, to give us a short opening prayer before we proceed. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Thank you so much, brother Idudu for this wonderful addressment. Make we pray. God Almighty, Chuko Kika Biyama, Sonu Blue, Obasi Tamono, we your children, we don't gather here again this very evening. And we won't discuss about the things where we say they affect us as indigenous people of Biafra. God Almighty, now you don't give us this strength and energy when we don't reach this level where we get today. When we get today. And we expect more from you. God Almighty, recently, you know, say we're the children of Biafra, all over the world, say we they pass through a very difficult time. Our enemy call that they, they, they try to come hit on us hard, but you still give us the courage and energy when we say we sit there, they fight on, we sit there, they fight back to still, to still keep our stand as a people. Wherever our supreme leader is, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazina, the Kanu, the Olorogu, the Odidibo, the Bo one, where that they can upon himself say, he go get freedom for the people, he not go retreat, no surrender. Wherever he did, God Almighty, may you go protect and guide them. The water where you go drink, food where you go eat, anything where you go digest, God Almighty, may you, may you guide and protect them. Not let our supreme leader die in the hands of our enemy. Protect them, bring them back to us alive, and give us those of us who never they under the captivity of our enemy. Give us the energy, energy and strength. May we continue to pursue this common goal where we get for hand, the goal of freedom. And give us the wisdom to take accomplishment. And this one we ask, oh, 
guy that protects every genuine DOS, DOS member, genuine principal of, uh, uh, Biafra officers, when they when they genuinely for this struggle, guy that protect them, give the wisdom to they give them wisdom to they handle this present situation when they for grant. And this one then we ask to oh, organize the set. And this one we ask to to go to Biafra. And this one we ask to Tamono. And this one we ask to Obasi. And this one we ask to Osalobua. May you do for all the children of Biafra. He said. Yeah, thank you very much for that uh, energetic uh, prayer. And uh, if I listen very well, you said uh, you pray to Almighty, the Creator of Heaven and Earth, uh, the God of the people of Biafra, that uh, our leader protection is under his care. Of course, we know, and uh, we should not also forget, and it should be a public announcement that also those our enemy, especially in Biafra land, they know themselves that. Uh, Okay, the safety of Una de Cano is the betterment of their, you know, well-being. They know. I repeat, the safeness, you know, the, the, the safety of Mas Una de Cano, it is of their own interest. And they know. And they know. So I don't want to back on that one because if they think that we are joking, then they will see what will happen. God, if you say, would they, they joke. When it does start, now everybody will go find visa for Somalia. Uh, we would like to, you know, talk about the arrest of our leader, Mas Una de Cano, because ever since our leader... Mazina de Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, of Hamadike Wan of Biafra land, was adopted, illegally adopted, uh, with the help of the Kenya bias government, I repeat, Kenya bias government, with the, you know, the, the Zoological Republic of the terrorist uh, government of Nigeria, to adopt him. You know, they, they, they went, you know, they go against all laws, international laws, that anybody that is having a political, you know, pursuit, and if someone that is having, uh, uh, that is agitating for self determination, have right to be protected, not to be adopted from any country whatsoever. And uh, as my have it, you know, uh, Kenya have proven to us that, of course, they are also running a zoo government. And uh, I know how much they have collected, you know, from the Nigerian with government, from the oil money of Biafra land, uh, from, through the help of the Janja with uh, Fulani. Idiotic uh, uh, nomads that wander, that wander all across the the African desert. They don't have a home, they don't have a place, and they want to conquer people to take over the ancestral land. And we say no to that. IPOB we say no to that. There will be no love for Uga, and there will be no Alama during Biafra land. I would not owe any idiot across the globe any type of apology or whatsoever. So my question to my comrade, like we'll be deliberating on one of our first uh, item here on the table, is. Our leader was adopted in Kenya, as we all know. Our leader case, you know, for the sake of our enemies, those who are laughing like as if we care. I think we as if we care when we know who our leader is. They are laughing, oh, they have arrested him. And that doesn't our our leader is an international figure, it's an international figure that the whole world is discussing much now. They can right now. They are not the, what they are discussing right now, it's not even released. They are even discussing how can he be even arrested? So I we are here to disappoint some for this idiot. If you say, oh, they are arrested now, they can <laughs> not the joke. When <laughs> you see what is coming here, you say, oh, they don't release that. Then you will know that they cannot, it's not another human being. May they damn, let the idiots in the Biafra land, let those all those idiots, oh, Kizzy Pazo, the Mahi, and the little Hitler, the what they call uh, the, the Supreme Court governor, and the rest of the idiots, uh, the rest of the idiot, Okoa, and down to the Oviama Gege, and the rest of the Edwin Clark. Of course, I know they, um, they know they know what uh, they, they, they know what to do. And uh, they they know what is uh, uh, what is on ground. I believe that uh, they will not be so stupidly and foolishly idiotic. You know, try also also to inconvenience also their well being and their space to live as human beings because that is going to be the case study if they try to fool themselves. Because we the, the, the youth, we the youth, who, which are the future of tomorrow or be ever like, we are not going in to let any stone unturned. We are saying this without no apology to any idiot across. You know, the zoo called Nigeria because we are determined, we are resolute, and we remain. In fact, we are strong as we are speaking right now. So, uh, I'll hand over the microphone to the person of uh, our Simba Solomon from Ibanke, uh, you know, in uh, those states, and uh, take the microphone and address us on his own uh, point of view concerning how Kenya might stood or have stood so low, you know, to do what they did. Which, of course, they have now. I, I go go Kenyan population today, they are what, what, what is their population? Uh, 52 million, uh, uh, 52 million. Then uh, 57,000, that is uh, 52 million, 57,000. It's not even up to the population of Biafra. That means you are trying to create an enmity uh, against people who are more uh, than you in terms of population. But we'll leave it that way. 
So as Simba Solomon, you might have your microphone and address the world on your own terms, on your own way, as an IPOB, as a as an IPOB from the coastal region of Biafra land. Take the microphone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my standing man, Solomon Asimba. Uh, for the issue of um, the adoption, the illegal adoption of our leader in uh, Kenya is not called for because, um, you know, Africa as a whole, we have a very bad and corrupt uh, leaders in Africa when the rule of law is not being um, re recognized in Africa. You know, we do things, you know, Nigeria has money, the Fulani government have money. They can pay whosoever they want to pay. Our leader way was in Europe. He was not abducted by the European governor of any kind, even in the America and the Asia, because they understand how the law works in this place. The reason why our leader was always saying that black people are evil, very evil, because, you know, black people does not think, they do not reason. They do things the way they want to do things. You know, Kenya is a kind of country, you know, nothing is working there because of the kind of mindset the people have there. But unfortunately, in this our case, abducting our leader even make the Biafra to come faster than even what we think because it make it now an international case. And um, the end, the game, the game, the blame game is upon Kenya and Nigeria government. And they will bring Biafra quickly, like what our leader brother said, fine boy. He said, they asked him in BBC Ibu, say, is he worried about the abduction of his brother? He said, he he's not worried about the abduction of his brother, but what you need is Biafra. Yes, certainly we need Biafra and we need Mazin on the canon. And they know they cannot deal because our people are resolute. We are calm because we want to watch the scene because we know the international body has taken over the scene. And also, the Biafra struggle has taken another shape. That's why we have to be at calm at this moment and we have to pray for our leader's safety. And I know the zoo will not deal that because they know who we are. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, the person of uh, uh, Simba Solomon. And uh, uh, you have uh, your view. Uh, we'll, make, we'll move uh, so quickly to our sister if he want to, to tell us his, her own point of view, you know, concerning how Kenya has stood so low, biasly to, you know, you know, dare and, you know, connive with Nigeria to arrest our leader, or kidnap and adopt him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I will start by saying um, the continent Africa uh, in a very in a waste of space. Like I always say to my people, my fellow black people, say the continent Africa in a waste of space. To me, I, I, I cannot speak for God, but if I, were, if I were to be in the position of God when he was creating every continent, I for use Africa to do forest or leave baboons and monkey and uh, cow and even all those uh, made they just occupy that place. I will say that my people this very afternoon, I just finished on my own uh, personal platform, which is on Motor Biafra TV, and a lot was said there. Due to the, I want to contribute to this broadcast due to the uh, topic when we say our people bring on this very evening. Concerning this uh, Kenyan people, Kenyan government or Kenya as a country or as a body of a uh, uh, in African continent, won't let everybody, won't let the Kenyan government know say, if truly, as in the way everything has been said so far, say that they, they, they're guilty of what they accuse them of, so what did they call up, cut them out, so they will not only be the enemy of Biafra, they will be enemy to every every of Africa continent. There will be enemy to every country where they for Africa because with the letter they know say there's what we call white supremacy. And this white supremacy that they succeed in whatever they are doing by oppressing the black people through the black people. This even for not they succeed. We know that all these things were was well was well planned by the British. I know even with the help of our people individually, even in our midst as IPOB, they have hands in it. But the mastermind of all these things is this British. British don't know, say, they don't want to go against the international law by handing over our supreme leader to the, the state of Nigeria. Then they don't manage it. They were patiently waiting for this day to come. 
They were patiently waiting for this day. So that is why I told Biafra earlier that I will not really have much to contribute to, especially this present, this one say, this one say, this one say, until I see a, 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 a speech from our Supreme Leader, where go really put my mind in a very good state of, uh, put, put me for a very good state of mind. But before that time, I did let the Kenyan government they know say, they they in for a very big one. Uh, now, we Biafrans, it has been announced on our radio for us to boycott anything that has to do with Kenyan, being their airline, being their product, anything that has to do with Kenyan. We have the population to boycott anything that has to do with Kenyan, and they will feel it economically, they will feel it in all ramification. In as far as say, then they said, don't recognize Biafra as a sovereign state, as a, as a country, and they recognize IPOB as a state actor. With the letter they know today now say they are in for a big one. We are not going to take it lightly, even when Biafra is restored and beyond. We are not going to take it lightly today because there is this uh, um, history where it talks, say, even the present president of Kenya even came to uh, Nigeria, came to Biafra land some, some years ago, and he was given the, the, the abduct, as in the, the given accommodation, he was, he was well treated. So how come they not saw the indigenous people of Biafra and uh, kidnap him after they must have done whatever they done to him for over eight days, they transfer it to Nigerian government. Even when they know he was not holding any document that had to do with Nigeria. So Kenya have a lot of explanation to give to us, even though we know say, na British, na I do this thing. As all of us don't know, when they prepare everything, they will give to black man, they'll say, black people don't love themselves. That is why you see say today, we have devil and in a black mass structure. So I leave it there. Thank you very much as we continue this broadcast. Oh, hey, Biafra. Your mind? Sorry, thank you very much, Onagiti. I will just read this article very quickly before I hand over the microphone to the person of uh, Ohaka. And Concerning the Kenyan government, because you know, Africa they have shallow brains, and uh, until they've proven us wrong, we'll keep on calling them the monkeys at Babu because they are behaving as one. I read, Who is Jomo Kenyatta? He was the founder of Kenya. I repeat, he was the founder of Kenya, Africa National Union, Kanu. Their group fought for independence. It was, it is worthy to know that the savvy president of Kenya, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, Father ran into his father, who is Jomo Kenyatta, who is the father of the present Kenya president right now. Uhuru Kenyatta father ran to late Unambi Azikiwe, who is a Biafran that died uh, uh, some days, some years ago. Ran to Unambi Azikiwe, the Igbo premier of Nigeria as of then, for help. He ran to, to him, the prime minister, and the Azikiwe, the prime minister as of them, for help during their liberation struggle. And why the name is street Kenyanta after him in Enugu state of Igbo land, Biafra land, in acknowledgement of him and his people alliance with the Igbos, Biafra. Today, Uhuru Kenyanta, today Uhuru Kenyanta betray a great Biafran leader, Mazinan the Kanun, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, in the hand of the zoo. Boko Haram terrorist government. It is a shame to Kenya government that the founder of Kenya, during the time he was fighting for the struggle of Kenyan people, when they were looking for his life, he ran to Biafra land and we shield him. We give him accommodation and a shelter over him. And today, what did his son, his son, who is the present president of Kenya, is now, should I say, uh, a boy boy to new uh, colonial master to work with. So I will not say much. Uh, I will hand over the microphone to Ohaka. Ohaka, please, please take the microphone and uh, do the needful. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, my fellow comrades. Uh, I like this uh, program today based on what is uh, on ground. I have to thank God for the life of our leader, Mazen and the Carlo, for being alive. Because if not God, these people would have killed our leader and said that he was being assassinated. That is to tell you that it's good to want to be prayerful. Like I always say, our leader is a prayerful man, a very fearful man of God. 
an anointed one. So this is why God has preserved him and God will continue to preserve him. He say, yeah, the program, the, the issue of the Kenya adoption of our, our leader Mazin and the Kalo, I'm not surprised because uh, Africa is, uh, is uh, they are brainless people. They are very, they are very backward. You see them, they they are making noise, always looking for money, in a, in a, from the foreign countries, without putting things in place for their people to work and uh, achieve their their income, their daily incomes. They always like free money from the foreign countries. And this is why Katrina Land has been working all around in Biafra land, seeking for those Ifulefus whom he can bribe so that they can kill our leader. And uh, it, it is a shameful thing for that country called Kenya because the man Jomo Kenyatta was uh, seeked refuge in Biafra land during his, the time they were fighting for freedom. Through the, the 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 party called Mao Mao, which our leader's brother has explained to us what happened in the past. And uh, it's a shame to this president for him not to realize that the Biafran is the home of Nam Dazikiwe who savaged his father. It's a shame. And uh, I, I would say, that he has peace on the grave of his father for doing that. Not only that, the issue of uh, them to deny that Nandikalo was kidnapped or he, that he was, um, he was uh, adopted, or I don't know how a president of a country would be there and a, a, foreign, a, a British citizen came into the country and was kidnapped and also their police arrested him tortured him and at, at the end of the day the doctor tested his body and they observed that he's sick before they handed him over to nigerian government this is to tell you that our our our, our african leaders all of them no one is exempted even south africa all of them are evil they like money more than their citizens. They like bribe. They cannot work to get money, but they like anything bribe. They cannot educate their people upon the grudges that they produce. No one is functioning. Most things have been destroyed in Africa because they don't know how to put things in place for their generation. So I still want to add that the Nigerian government itself is in a very big mess because for them to kidnap our leader, Mazen and Kalo, who is a British citizen, and they could not hand him over to the British where he come from. It is, a, it is an international uh, breach of law, which uh, I know the, the, the world is interested about that. So um, they don't know how to handle this case. This is why they are denying. And they, as you can see now, there is no more jubilation or celebration of the arrest of our leader Mazen and the camp because Thank they you. know they have gone wrong. Thank you. Thank you for... Yeah, yes. uh, Maz, I must tell you that uh, you really, you know, gradually made a lot of good, good point and you were so on point. And I believe the audience also gets you. I pick a point for what you said that Huru, Kenyatta, the son of the late Jomo Kenyatta, has peace on his father's grave by doing what he have, have done. And it will be a something that uh, he have to quickly, you know, try to amend and see if we are going to forgive them because we are really bitterly angry with uh, the government of Kenya for doing, for standing so low to do whatever they did. So I will move quickly to the person of uh, our comrade, Najite, please take the microphone. Thank you very much, um, Dudu. Uh, you know, with the with the issue that I've been raised here so far, the most important thing is that um, 
the enemy that has tried, they of course, they tried and um, with the help, because for now, IPOB hasn't made any official statement concerning the adoption, uh, concerning that Britain having ends in the adoption of our leader. And um, I would like to play in that role, or should I should say in that line for now, as far as the IPOB leadership hasn't confirmed that to us yet. Um, there is nobody that is innocent here on this very case. Nobody is, is, is innocent, um, including the Britain government. We know that um, the devil is always a devil. Uh, and um, they are not exempted from what is on ground right now. Um, but um, there are some important things that we need to look into in this adoption of our leader. There's one thing that Biafran, there's a primary thing that Biafran need to understand concerning this adoption. The thing is this, you, you need to understand that either leader was adopted or not. There is nothing, I mean nothing, that will happen to leader. And there's something that happened recent, um, uh, should I say, um, with the report that our lawyer gave concerning the adoption of leader. The, 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 the uh, barrister Joffa said, leader was arrested uh, on the 18th. And um, with, the, with the information that we have gathered so far, shows that the Nigerian government, the Nigerian government has not touched leader whatsoever. So I can assure this, um, our viewers, those who are watching us, those who are with us right now, that leader is very alive, uh, is not, um, is not as strong. But the Nigerian government are not even bold enough to touch him. There are some things that cannot be disposed on, on the air, but the Nigerian government are not bold enough to touch him. Leader was maltreated in Kenya. He was beaten up, tortured in Kenya. I can tell you categorically. He was tortured in Kenya that made this condition, which even a Jofo actually, you know, put light to. He told us on that very... But I can tell you that where leader is today now, in the hands of the Nigerian government, they are not even they are not bold enough to touch him. And um, I can also tell the Biafrans and um, the, everyone watching right now that <laughs> people say a leader cannot come out from their life. Ah, this kind of trap. Leader is this. Leader is that. I can tell you. Remember the word that I said earlier. Leader. Is not uh, nobody is touching leader in Nigeria detention as we speak. In other words, leader will be out as soon as anybody expects. When I mean as soon as anybody, no, no matter the analysis, no matter what you have been thinking, what is on ground, the information that has been gathered uh, uh, for now shows that leader will be released as soon as anyone thinks. So, because even the zoo themselves literally realize that they have fell into a very big trap. And for Nguru Kenyatta, you know, for a, a white man that uh, paint devil black, he understand what it, he, 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 he's saying. For a white man to say, even you that are chocolate color, you that are brown skin, skin color, for them to call you black, they know what they're saying. For them to label every one of us black, they know what they are saying. Because they know black stands for evil thing, black stands for obscured. For somebody to come to Africa and ask you, a father telling you that sell your son for me and collect ordinary mirror. Mirror, not even money. Give me your son, I give you mirror. Then you are able to do that. What do you think the, uh, the, 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 the white person will say? What? So ordinary mirror that I produce, this person can exchange it in, in, in uh, for, for money. So he knew that you have no value for yourself, no self-esteem, no self-respect, no nothing like sympathy. And it is a very big shame, you know. 
pissing or making caca on the grave of his useless and his stupid father. Because I can even assure you that, you know, there is something about Biafran. Biafran is a very unique people that God created as a special species people. Even if it is Umuru, the, the, the uh, uh, Jumo Kenyatta himself, the father of Umuru Kenyatta, is, even if he's alive today, he will do the same thing uh, just the way his son, son has did. I believe his son understands the, the history, how his father was free. I believe he understands everything. I believe he understands the process, the procedure, the escape and the re-escape of his father during, the, during their freedom fighting. So they understand whatever they are doing. They know everything that they are doing. They, and they are doing it intentionally. If it is his father that is alive today, he will repeat and repeat. Even as we speak now, if you give Umuru Kenyatta the same opportunity again, he will repeat it without looking back. You see, he understands that there is consequence in, in this, but he is not educated enough that because there is something, there is a trick that the zoo used for him. Don't forget that he later used eight days, if not more than eight days in Kenya. And that, that is to say, there is this kind of negotiation. The zoo, they oversmart the idiot. That is the problem. They oversmart the idiot. There is a communication within these eight days. There was a discussion within these eight days. But a fool will always be a fool. They oversmarted him and they convinced him to, to bring leader down there. And he foolishly do. The zoo made him, they, they covered the area that these people we the whole zoo, the almighty zoo, the almighty animal kingdom are dealing with. They are educated than us. They are smarter than us. These people, they are historian. They are, they, they are history diggers. These people, they will follow you till, the, till you enter your grave. They don't allow Kenya. They, they are just, they pressurize them and they took leader from there. Because if Umuri Kenyatta know who he is dealing with, he wouldn't have buy into that conspiracy. But um, when God wants to destroy people, there is a way he package their heart and there is a way they react. You know, Concerning, um, you know, Thank there you. are a lot. Uh, yeah, I, I, I will. I will be rounding up now. There are a lot that have been said about the leadership of IPOB, which, um, when this issue came up, I've said this before. When this issue came up, I myself, I was like, "What the heck is going on?" But I will rather go in a in a in a in an angle whereby I will say, and I will try to encourage our people that we should work with the leadership of IPOB. Let us play along with them. There are lots going on on the ground that cannot be said on live program. Uh, but at the end, those things are going to hit a very big fruit. And the fruit is about to bring Biafra. So let us just play along. Thank, thank you. you very um, <clears throat> thank you very much, uh, Comrade Ajiti. Before I hand over the microphone to the person of... Uh, Son of IPOB from Igodomi Godo. After then, we'll be going to our next topic where we'll be showing a video of uh, Shegumi. I call it our leader. He's not a Sheik, he's just a Gumi uh, smelling, you know, uh, terrorists that don't take his bath, you know, all through. I don't know if he's even taking his bath this year. Uh, Son of IPOB, please take the microphone and uh, analyze it before we move forward. Thank you, my fellow, fellow comrade, you know. This is a very great shock to all IPOB all over the world. Are you hearing me? Right on. Please try okay. and reduce the noise around you. The noise. Okay. You. Okay. So, my fellow comrade, as in, this is a very big shock to everybody, all, uh, all IPOB all, all over the world, because, uh, you know, Kenyan people, they really, what they did was, they did a very, they make a very huge mistake, you know, you know, and they will never go unpunished. As we Biafrans, 
we are ready to do on do because uh, like all what my brother have said here because uh, it's like they said what is what is on my mind like uh, British we know that British was the one who they involved of all this what what happened because if you can recall earlier that uh, during during a few days ago that our leader we were expecting that our leader is on prayer ground you know before those Fulani make a huge uh, amount of money of 100 uh, million who anybody who can bring our leader safe and healthy and everything you know you can record that already before then they already know that our leader is in the custody of uh, Kenya they just want to use that one to deceive the world because uh, they work together you know how can a man traveling with a British passport a citizen and you people arrest him you know it's not it's unacceptable nobody will accept it that is the reason why british play a very major role in this game in the sense that uh, after all they are africans when it happened everybody will say uh, they are africans they are black they are animals uh, so they are the, they are brothers they are the one who did it you know what i mean so man we are facing kenya we are facing british because british right from the hood they don't want the progress of biafra so when this thing happened you must know that these people, they are involved. You know what I mean? And first of all, introduction, and uh, when our leader was traveling, how do they know that our leader is traveling? How do they track his airline flight? How do they know where uh, the time he's about to land and everything? That is why you see this thing is very suspicious that uh, there was there is something under the green that, that nobody knows because this is not the first time it, our leader is traveling. Our leader is traveling, he's, he's always traveling all over the world. You know what I mean? It have been different continents in Africa. This thing have never happened, but this time they just want to they, they just want to prove to all that they they just they just did it because they have been cooking it. You know, it's a something that British told the Janja we that right now what we do now just say that uh, they should donate hundred million and all 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 of that because I read in the news and uh, it's circulating and uh, and the very very five. Uh, platform where I saw the news that uh, it was one billion US dollars that the, they paid the uh, Kenyan authorities for this their dirty job. One billion US dollars. You know, how can you arrest an innocent man who have not done anything to you? He's fighting for his people, for his people to be free. And you arrest him and you think we Biafra with we, we will accept it. I swear to God Almighty, when Biafra will restore. We will never do anything with Kenya, and anywhere we see Kenya, they must pay for it dearly. You know what I mean? And they, I really commend our brothers here, all my brothers here, you know, because this is a very heartbroken because you cannot arrest a leader who is fighting for freedom of his people. He have not done, if he have committed any crime, is the world power that we know that this young man committed crime. He have never arrested. He have been in America, he have been all over the world. He have never been arrested because they know that. This man is fighting for his people. This man is fighting for a just cause. You know what I mean? This is this man is more than uh, uh, Martin Luther King. He's a man who has been fighting for his struggle. He has never shoot any one bullet. He's using what brain with a geology. Why can you a man coming from where he's coming from? Then you block him. Then you how how do they know that our leader is traveling and he's coming back on his way return? Uh, he was returning back to Brit uh, to England. To uh, UK and uh, England, that's where they they capture him and they hold him hostage for eight good days. You see, like uh, what our brother said here, that uh, Elohim is always with him. I wish if not Elohim by now, you know, nobody will know that uh, what happened to him. They would uh, assassinate him, do whatever manner of thing to him. But we pray that uh, he will, our leader will come out victorious because you know we we, we can we can we can we can lay our life down for him because you know why. Is fighting for our generation to live a life of a of a humanity. So we cannot sit down here watching. As I will know that things are moving. We know IPOB cannot sit down watching what is happening. We know that people are doing something. We know, but we Thank here we need to do something. If it is protest, we need to shake down the euro. Let people know that you you are holding is more than the president of America. We prefer him more than the the world power. You know what I mean? So that just all. Thank you, my people. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. You just, uh, <laughs> you just uh, uh, spoke, should I say my mind, not just my mind, you just also add a lot of uh, aroma 
So the whole thing, our the person you people are holding in the prison, <laughs> the person you people are arrested, eh? eh, is carrying the ideology of over 80 million people, which is more important than not to us than anything you can ever think of in this world. So you should get that into your ear. Before we look into the topic, which says the reaction of some lovers of Nigeria and Fulani terrorists, especially some comedians, I've been noticing comedians, and majority of these comedians are Ilevinu comedians. I will go into there. We are going to look into the video of Shegumi. Okay, we are going to look into the, 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 the video of Shegumi because we are trying to analyze and lay a platform where we can, you know, uh, you know, analyze this particular topic we want to bring in. Before we go there, I would say that uh, the arrest of Mazuna de Kano by the Nigerian government through the collaboration of the the the, the Chikenyan, Janjaweed, also government, is act of stupidity. It's a stupidity to arrest Nade Kano because right now there's no more jubilation. Nade Kano is arrested. But right now, Nade Kano is not a case study to the entire world. Now Nade Kano, they are discussing Nade Kano on every platform, respectfully, diplomatically, and you have to mind your mouth before you utter any garbage you want to utter as a journalist or as a representative or as an activist. If you have not been noticed, go and notice. So now we go and look into the video of Shegumi, then I come back to Lady Foundation before we now hand over the microphone. Thank you very much. <clears throat> the videos and the audio is, is mute. Your video is mute. Nobody invited me for questioning or any arrest. I can categorically say that. But when I venture into the forest, I go there with the full security with the police, with the knowledge of business, with the government officials, with the traditional rulers. Wow, with the full ideas. I never went there. So all along, uh -huh. I've been in the government and there is not any difference between us and the authority. So people, I think you have them. Please, Idudu, let me play this thing again. This was okay, play, play it again, play it again. He shocked me a bit. Nobody invited me for questioning. Or Don't be only you, man. I can categorically say that. But, when I venture into the forest, I go there with the full security, with the police, with the knowledge of business, with the government officials, with the traditional rulers, and with the full ideas. I never went alone. So all along, I never went alone. Between the government and there is not any difference between us and the authority. People. Good. No difference between us and the authority. <laughs> you, 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 we can hear you. you we all can please, hear the garbage. Please, 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 please uh, um, all, I would like to beg for audience. Um, uh, are we done with the video? Uh, okay. Let me analyze the the video. Uh, first of all, this topic I'm about to, you know, true is what is called the foolishness of Nigeria. The idiocy of a Nigeria, the idiocy of a typical Nigeria. Should I say? I just the 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 animalistic character. I don't know how to. If foolishness and stupidity are two you know polite words to use on a Nigeria. Now this is Shegumi, the one that is going about settling bandits. Now if they kidnap your daughter in the north, it is Shegumi you go and beg, Bikonu, please. Oh, even if you can only, uh, you know, relinquish my daughter to me, if you only can certainly my daughter free, I'm ready to pay. Chikumi will just be there smiling and is acting like a kind of uh, a lord in the north right now. Now, Chikumi is telling you that people, there's a rumor going about that the DSS have invited him. So that there was no invitation. Say, so how can DSS invite him when that, even when they are going to the forest to give bandit money with AK-47, the, the DSS, police and army, accompany, they give their security, and you know, guide them to the bushes where they are giving Fulani uh, terrorists uh, money. So, so when you say that yes, they arrest him, arrest him, why what? Why are you saying that yes, and I they guide them every time you say they go to me bandit for bush? You understand me? So this is a man that is you know dining, whining, you know, and sleeping with terrorists in the bush. Not that he's always sleeping with terrorists in the bush, he is also a terrorist. She gumi. I I I'm I'm yet to I'm yet to believe that it's a sheikh, it's a gumi man. 
a dirty flitching man, you know, who is a terrorist, is enjoying, you know, you know, palliative, and should I say, you know, uh, should I say, honorable interview from Channel TV, AIT, and the rest of the zoo contraction, Janjaweed media. Now, the question is this. A lot of, when, when I see a lot of all these useless comments, they're saying that, uh, yeah, and some of the user politicians, we have been marking you with a marker of honor. <laughs> when you are trying to talk what you don't know and try to speak, see, you don't use your life to, to do betting. That's what I'm going to say because we are not going to owe, owe any your apology because when it comes to our leader, we are going to speak in the way we want to speak because nobody is going to tie our mouth. When Shegumi is busy enjoying protection from Nigeria army and police, according to him, the how can he be arrested when we say, now DSS, they get that they go to give terrorists money for inside bush. Some useless idiots saying that uh, we recommend and we commend Nigerian government so for the arrest of Unade Kano, that's to show that uh, the Nigerian government and the police and the DSS are trying to work, you know, they are not, you know, up to their game in terms of how they, how they went far to arrest Unade Kano. You are a Christian. I repeat, you are a Christian from the south, or oh, Yoruba, uh, Igbo, Isoko, Urobo, Ijoi, Shekiri, Ibibio. And you are foolishly happy that they arrest Mas Unade Kano. It should be a shame on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are committing Nigerian government over what that they arrest Mas Unade Kano. You have not asked the Nigerian government that what stopped them from arresting Shegumi, a terrorist. See, eh? I will leave the microphone here, but I will say this. The, the Biafra politician, eh? They know what to do. Biafra politician, they know what to do. They know what to do. Oh, if you're not going to go, they find on a visa for Sambisa. I'm going to go, they find on a visa for Somalia. Oh, I know what to do. Visa with a joke. Guy, you're not knowing anything. You, you, there's no, uh, there's, there's, there's nothing like innocent. Your family, nobody's innocent. Thank you very much as I hand over the microphone because I'm very angry. I'm very angry. A typical user Nigeria said they are commending Nigeria government for what? I don't know they can know. In fact, you even does you 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 have done you have done to us a lot of good because you are putting us in a, in a very you know a high level in the international community. So I'll, I'll leave the microphone for Asima Solomon, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, in Nigeria. Um, terrorists have been it's really us anyway because um, Buhari is a terrorist and he is the sponsor of Boko Haram, ISIS and all those top terrorists in Nigeria and I'm not surprised for Shegumi moving because he is a terrorist he is in the government he is a negotiator of terrorists and the government is giving him protection even with a presidential um, flight you understand? So this is the kind of country we came at, and the media make it worse because I don't know which kind of media. You know, anybody that went to school in Nigeria, uh, will I say they are not? If you are in Nigeria, you cannot speak because I thank God for the life of Mazen and Ikanu that stand up out of where out of the millions of people. Nigeria is run by a military dictatorship. When you speak, they will kill you. I did not blame those media that is trying to smile because if he did not smile, they will come to kill him tomorrow. It's the truth of the matter. When you speak the truth, they are coming to your next door. You are going. You are going down. Like what uh, happened the other day. Have you forgotten that China TV interviewed um, um, the Biafra um, uh, in Manpower and the other day, the Nigeria government sanctioned Sanon P to pay five million? So we are in a country where we say, when it is the president talk stand, it's a dictatorship. When the terrorists speak, it stand. I can use. Are you telling me that uh, terrorists were against terrorists? It's impossible. The presidential um, level is ruled by the terrorist cabal, and he is a terrorist. So how can you arrest him? Even Boko um, ISIS, even Fulani ISM, Have you ever seen them against Fulani ISM? No. Then person like Che Gumi, the owner of these terrorists. And you are telling the um, um, DSS that the terrorist is working inside to go and arrest. It's impossible. He's telling you what is the fact. Nigeria can never invite, uh, DSS can never invite Shegumi and ask Shegumi anything because he's a terrorist. He's one of them. You see, they are jubilating. I don't know why African people are jubilating over the arrest of Una a man that is trying to bring freedom to your generation to set you free especially the christian look at what happened yesterday in lagos imagine what happened in lagos if not for una de Kalu, do you think what happened in lagos will be a minor case the way it happened there will keep more you understand because all highs on ground 
Biafra is watching. The world is watching. No, I don't know why the Yoruba media are the Yoruba media is the cause of our problem. Our predicament is the Yoruba media. They buy into this. I want to deal with uh, yeah, it's not the Kalu, but when it's a uh, go yesterday, they will say, Why wow, they, they look at BBC, they were giving good reports about it, talking good, good things. That no, the DSS went to go, the Nigerian government went to go and climb a peaceful protester. But if it is IPOB, they will change it, change it. Talk. You see these people, and they are the people, and if not IPOB, Nigeria, everybody could have been one mighty mess by now. My name could have been Musa. Or oh, Mohammed, you understand? It, to to survive, you understand? But thank God that uh, uh, IPOB came out. That is the problem. Is the media? The media? The media? Are one-sided media we have there? One-sided. They are the one that is sponsoring this whole atrocity that is going on in Nigeria. Those kidnapping, killing, and the behavior of our mother, our sisters. Nigeria is. A, our media is the one covering from them. And the Nigeria DSS, we already know that it's gone. The whole Europe, everybody knew that there's been putting terrorists inside the Europe. Everybody knows for that side. But the media is the major problem. Tribalism. You know, Nigeria can never work as one because it's a country when tribalism, everybody are tribal by gods. When it becomes your own, you protect it. Not like the Igbo. I know the Igbo, we are a full we, we sell our own. You understand? But for the Yoruba, they protect their own. When it is order, they finish it. You understand? But in our own, we are all if we, if we sell our own. We, of chicken change, we sell it anyhow. You understand? When it comes to the full and needy, they protect their own. They will never allow a terrorist to go to prison because it's their own. They will tell you that it's not a terrorist, it's an agitator. But in our own, with a flag, they will tell you, no, kill them. They have to be killed without a gun. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Asima Solomon. You have spoken very well. Uh, uh, one thing is for sure, the Yoruba Janja with the media, they try to work against us. We are still here and we are this big and uh, we are the backbone, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, should I say, energ energizing every agitation or every ag other agitation in the zoo contract of Nigeria. And everybody knows, without IBOB, you cannot even dare to say that Yoruba nature, all those idiots who are trying to say is on nature, or uh, yeah, yeah, acquire by nature. They can't even open their their gutter mouth to talk rubbish. So we are the we are the soldiers, and we are here, and we don't owe any idiot a kind of apology across the globe. And uh, of course, I'll keep on saying it. Biafra politicians they know that uh, the safety of Mazda and the Kano is their own safety. So they know. so that we are just trying to push them on those because they know. So I would like to give the microphone to the person of Omote. Please hit it and hit it very hard. Omote is on call, so I move to our same uh, or Haka. All right. Ohaka. Mind. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, um the issue of uh, this government, they are patronizing terrorism and they are terrorist government. You can hear from Autumn. Autumn was lamenting. How can they ar arrest uh, the leader of IPO Bimazan and the Kano? That they should go also go and arrest the hesmen and the Boko Haram, and all the Eswaps, and also Gummi, they should arrest him also. If they think that uh, they should arrest Nande Kalo, who is a side country, if they have the intelligent officers to go f as far as uh, Kenya and the Britain to go and arrest uh, Mazen Nande Kalo, they should also go and uh, arrest the Hesmen. Or well, you can see Wike, the Fulefu, saying that uh, uh, if they has uh, 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 arrested uh, Mazen and Kalo, that they should also give him justice by arresting other uh, full enhancement. It's now that uh, we can we begin to talk about Nand Kalo because they have betrayed him. They are the Judas of uh, Biafra. He, even the other man, the Niger Delta leader, the one they called the other man, he was saying that uh, the IPOB has betrayed uh, uh, Mazen and Kalo. As if he is safe. They are not safe. They know. So even also in the side of Erufai, they were interviewing Erufai. He was saying that Erufai was saying that he's happy that Nand Kali is arrested. He's happy that he has uh, that killed. Erufai, a, no, that, that man an idiot. Leave that Erufai. That man, they even provoke me. I don't want 
sorry to interrupt you, so, please. This is an idiot. Yeah, so he, he also said they were when they were asking him what about the Fulani Hessmen and the kidnapping going on. He said that uh, it's very difficult for them to uh, investigate those people kidnapping because they should be handled with care. Because if they don't handle it with care, that it will escalate. You can imagine. So all these people, all these people you see, they are the terrorists, they are, they are, they are the hessmen, they are the killer, they are the, the people destroying the country. And at the end of the day, they will not say what they have done to Nigeria. They will be chasing the, uh, the, separate, the agitators, people saying they, they want to leave the country. They will not start from where the problem started. Like yesterday, I called one man, the, the leader of Niger, that I asked him, I said, you people will not start the, the story from where it began. You can see today, every aspect of government in Nigeria, it has been handled over to terrorism. All the whole parastatus is terrorist government. They are the people ruling you people. You will not talk, talk about that one. Thank you very much. About, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, the person of uh, uh, Ohaka from uh, Ikwere. You know, he's always forget to mention the place sometime because of his time and all that. You know, um, <clears throat> first of all, I want to you know uh, uh, try this issue of uh, what uh, Ohaka said concerning uh, uh, Winky and uh, should I say Edwin Clark? They are saying we are not yet to talk about who betrayed Nadi Kano if Nadi Kano was betrayed. That is a uh, cock and bull story. All we know that the safety of Nadi Kano is the safety of the African politicians down they know. So we don't have anything to worry about. But I hate people who are so stupid, like person like Winky. When you want to talk about the issue of Fulani Hesman, you cannot come on your own on TV and say without attaching the Kano. And now they can after saying eh, they should also arrest a eh, Fulani Hesman. No, what we want you to do is that come on a platform and say that arrest Fulani Hesman without attaching any other person. They can't even mm -hmm. boldly talk individual talk directly on Fulani Hesman alone. They have to just yes. from the Kano, they will not just switch it somehow because they don't have the board. So just come and say that like, Fulani Hesme are killing people in, in Elele, in Eleme, in Ogoni. Shame, shame to these people in these places who are there. So, okay, we are not there. Oh, she can have more of the bad people. So we go to the next person to give us his uh, contribution because uh, we are about to, you know, put the lines for contribution if there are any very soon so that we can round up as soon as much possible. Oh, Lisa, please take the microphone. Oh, hey, Biafra. Thank you, Comrade Idudu, for the for the moderation and uh, for holding on. And all the comrades here present, I want to say thank you and our listeners. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on your time zone. My name is Olisa Donald. Olisa Donald is from Ndokwa. Ndokwa is in the region of Biafra land, where today is called Delta or Ninja Delta. Uh, particularly why I what I want to go straight into is to try to uh, explain or try to make uh, the world know that Biafra has become the police of the world because Biafra is now exposing the hypocrisy in international laws. How do I say so? It is established that Mazin Nandekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, was kidnapped. He wasn't arrested. He was kidnapped. Now, as at the time he was kidnapped, he was traveling with international recognized document owned and signed by the British government. And this is why we as a Biafra is now standing as international police to tell the world to do the needful before the Biafrans begin to take what they can call laws into their hands. Because if the world become unlawful, allow Nigeria to participate or begin to, 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 to terrorize uh, expand this terrorism act into the world, then the world will make hypocrisy of itself. Like in in Europe recently, a particular country hijacked a plane because he wanted a critic of the country that was boarding the plane. Numerous European countries, what did they do? They sanctioned that particular European country for doing that. But what are we seeing in Africa? What has British talked about their supposed citizen who is carrying their passport? So Biafran should remain very focused in this struggle because 
Biafra, like Mnazinad can use to say, is his last miracle on this earth. And Biafra must be restored no matter who or what people are against it. We have numerous enemies in this world and we must recognize that. So talking about Mazinandikano kidnap or adoption, everyone must begin to ask questions. Like what? Ask them, where did they take Nandikano? Why would they take them? Under which law did they take him and hand him over to the Nigerian government? So these are the questions that are begging for answers. These are the questions that are begging for answers. So we should not look, lose focus by listening to politicians who are serving the zoo. Ever since, like the Fulani men who made a uh, public threat to Delta State, they have resumed the operation of what? Carrying out terrorism inside Delta State under the cover of the Nigerian police. Remember, the Nigerian police and the army have Boko Haram members as recruited repentant terrorists in their ranks using the federal principal character because that is the only place they will tell you they are using it as apart because they will never use it in terms of appointment. They sent these same Boko Haram members as commissioners of police and uh, 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 army commanders to our place and they are going about killing our people and the world is standing and looking at it. So they have gone in, they have, because the world has been so silent about what is going on, they have now attempted to do it internationally. But Biafra will bring their legs out, like Master Nadekandu said, that army, that ginger weed army will be buried in Biafra land. A lot of people, pre, pressure is on the government to do the needful. And if the politicians in Biafra land should know that it is a time ticking time bomb for them. The more Nandikano stay in Abuja, the more they themselves should relocate to Abuja. Because they are doing nothing. They are practically doing nothing because under their nose, people are being killed, bombs are being released in their life. Like, do you know that bombs were, were thrown in data states recently? Ask me, why would bombs be thrown in data state after the Fulani yes men made threat to carry out terrorism in data state? Then these bombs that were thrown in data state, the government of data state, which is uh, Okowa, did not say a word about it up to now. It was his, the, 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 the Almagili Police Commissioner, the Unsecursized Police Commissioner, who was making statements, covering and naming it that they were bombing IBOB camp, whereas they were killing innocent people. Now the world is silent because they took under the canoe, they could ro go rogue at Sunday Boss House. And the next morning, you know the people they are calling on non government, they were the DSS. Look at, look at uh, 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 the terrorist negotiator, the self-acclaimed terrorist negotiator and the government. He told the proper claim that they are working with the government. People who came to Bomba Saba were full and terrorists. They were not police. They were not Nigerian police officers. The Nigerian police officers that were with them were covering for them. They were the ones who blocked the road, barricaded the road, caused confusion inside Asaba to make it look as if it was Asaba they were bombing, whereas they were bombing Ubolu. This is just recently after Mazen and has been adopted, and our politicians are silent. Do you know why they are silent? They have all been shown the crocodiles in their, their cupboard. If you serve Nigeria, you either come back with shame or you lose Thank your you life. Those are, those are the two options. Oh, he be afraid. Oh, he be afraid. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade Olisa Donald. Uh, you've made your point, and uh, you hit a lot of points. And uh, for the people of Data State, uh, should I say if they will be at the part of Data State, which of course uh, supposedly I'm from, uh, some of the some of them because we, a lot of us are IPOB and we are Biafran, they should be ashamed of themselves that uh, Fulani who are bombing them are still the Fulani who, co who are coming to lay accusation on their head that they are the one bombing Fulani. So at the end of the day, that is one Nigeria for you. Some of you will use your soup to appease Nigeria, and uh, of course Biafra will come. I will go to the person of. Uh, uh, on Najite because of uh, I, I I jumped some of the people so I have to go back to Najite before I come down again. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, you know, talking about Shogumi, Sheikh Gumi, that is if it is. I don't even like calling me calling him um, Sheikh. Is um Gumi a very dirty, filthy rat? You know um. I will start by from him, and um, he has made it clear, very plain and very clear. You, the journalist actually asked him that were you invited by DSS? Why would they invite him? 
because we are all into this together. We negotiate with the bandits together. We give them money together. They escort me there. There are, uh, 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 according to him, he said, um, they, they, there are uh, political um, um, uh, uh, leaders there. They are traditional leaders there. They are uh, security operatives, including the military. They are there with him. They went there with him. So why would they arrest him? When that it is all of us that went there together, I did not go there alone. I did not go there on my own. So for which reason? For which reason will I be will will I be arrested, or will I be invited? On which ground? It means that when you are inviting me or you are trying to arrest me, you are, you you also need to do that to the person of the uh, the army chief. You also need to do that. So every traditional ruler who are there with him, you, you also need to do that. So every political leader who are there with him. So the terrorist is, is Gumi, and Gumi is bandit. The political leaders, the government official, in fact, Nigeria, as the system of Nigeria is terrorist. So you cannot separate these two people. That was the reason why it is very difficult for them to make any arrest. Not even one. How many people are there? Can't you just ask yourself a very simple question? How many people have died so far? Why haven't they made any arrest? Even the one that was arrested, they literally freed them and recruited them into the military. So what are we saying? Why are we deceiving ourselves? And I hear one of our comrades saying, uh, the, the political leaders, they know what to do. Which political leaders are you talking about? Let me just even say this. If they, if they have arrested um, um, Gumi, it will have been the greatest surprise of my life. Because I don't expect them to arrest themselves. You just ask. As if you are telling um, 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 the dead boy now, or telling Gabashew, or even uh, um, the idiot uh, adding the the, 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 the the EFCC department, telling him to put handcuffs in his hand that, okay, now I'm corrupt to have arrested myself. It doesn't sound nice. And for those who are saying maybe our political elite, who, uh, they know what to do. How do you know that they are, they even have anything to do? They are bed of same feathers. These people are the same thing. They are the same people. So you cannot expect them to come and rise up at this time and start speaking. We understand the role they are playing and we love the role they are playing. If not for the uh, community standard or whatever, I would have played one of their video, one idiot that they, they, they that, that come and caught up with. They have cut off his penis in total. And this are the pen, and the reason why they made the video, not that the video is really necessary. For those, the, the remaining fulefus who have been selling us out, those who have been pointing fingers, don't think that they will cut off your finger. They are going to cut off the penis that you want to use to enjoy the money that you that you kill us, that you kill our people for. So they made the video there for them to understand the consequence they are going to face. And that, that is exactly what is going to be their fate, the fate of every saboteur, every governor or whatever, no matter any role you're playing. I have said this before, and I will say it again. Every BF France should lay, just play along, play along with the leadership. They are in control of everything. They're in control of everything. I want us to also remember that we are always 100 steps ahead of the zoo in every ramification, in every aspect of life, in every, every angle of the game. We are on a football pitch. We are playing game. We are always 100% ahead of them. We cannot even afford to make an own goal. We cannot make an own goal in this level that we are now. 
they will always meet us there. I believe we, especially the comrades who are here with me, you people have, you have inside of many things now. So let us, and uh, we are encouraging the comrades, uh, Biafras all over the world, play along with the leadership. Nobody should say, oh, uh, the leadership has sold us out. Oh, Thank you very much. I, I, I've done this or I've done that. Let us just play along with the leadership. Of course, we are not trusting anyone. I'm rounding up now. We are not trusting anyone, but let us all play along. And I will leave it there. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Najite. Uh, I believe every IPOB is very wise and uh, very strong. We are soldiers, so yeah, in case if you don't know, every IPOB, every IPOB, we are soldiers, so uh, we have to tell you in terms of a uh, general and public announcement. I see some, a lot of idiots here trying to advise IPOB like me. An IPOB member like this. Why can I insult you? I'm not trying to tell you this. So you're, you, you're a fool. If you're in Nigeria, you are committing robbery. You are a fool. If Shegumi is taking the money of the so-called Nigeria to go and settle bandits, and you foolishly, idiotic and idiot, uselessly, you have not in any way commit or condemn it. You are, you, you are coming here to, to, to advise, to advise Biafra. And do you think that we are afraid? We are speaking because we are bold. We are speaking because we have the right. And there is nothing you can do about it. Do you think that we are afraid because they are our leader, arrest our leader? Because Nigeria, no second on your own, Nigeria on their own. What can you do to our leader? I repeat, what can you do to our leader? Don't you know that there are some people that are untouchable? Can you touch our leader? That's why I'm saying that the African politicians, they know what to do. It's nothing, it doesn't mean that there's something that they are going to do. They know what it takes. They know what is on the ground. Go, go touch her now. They know, we are not trying to beg them. Beg who? For which reason? We are not begging them. We are just only telling them, oh, more. Oh, my, you know, just day your lane, may you do well, low, because people penis they miss now. If you don't know, we're not going to go too far. Down. They know, they know what is our ground. Go and find your visa. So, the people, the voice of the people is the voice of God, and the, the decision of the people is the decision, decision of God. They know that they cannot try it. You don't dare with Masina de Cano. You would, I said the safety of Masina de Cano is the safety of Biafran politicians. And if you can understand this statement, that means you need to go to school. They understand. The safety of Masina de Cano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, is their own safety. And they know. They know because we we we, we, we not let you, we chase them and their entire we, we go roast of people like like, like, like Babiki. Now they, they're mad. We are not trying to owe any type of idiot, any type of apology across the globe. Our leader is here to fight for everybody. Fulani are raping us in our bushes, and this idiot did not say, do anything. Our leader is here to do something, and they are trying to arrest him. Or arrest who? Are, arrest who? Are you, are you people? Are you people normal? What, what are the charges? What have our leader done wrong? Our leader who is in London? What are you going to accuse him for? You caught him with AK-47 or what? AK-47 and full and he has me are not carrying in or what? Or she, Gumi is not carrying. Are you stupid? Do you think that we owe any idiot apology? This is just coming to advise you that, uh, you know, uh, uh, watch this statement. Uh, who? Our leader is even in the prison telling the Nigeria DSA that do on him and leave my front as we are speaking. Go and ask uh, people who are there. Go and ask the person of Deji. JG, one of the highest uh, uh, activists in, in, in there in Abuja, is reporting to us that Mazina De Kano is reportedly telling the Nigeria DSS that you zoo animal, leave my front, because you know that they can't do nothing, and they can't do nothing. They can't do nothing. You see, see, man, see, eh? Don't, you people should be very careful of yourself because Mazina De Kano can cause every type of thing that they can, can, that can cause. Can cause religious war, can cause ethnic war, that can destroy that zoo, and it's going to destroy the zoo. We are not uh, trying to. We are not making we are not making matter because me personally I'm going to take it upon myself because if you consider as an as an infidel and you are in our in, in our country you are in Biafra land in any part of Biafra land in my own zone I am going to make sure that you are going to pay for Nigeria and you are going to pay very expensively and we are not owing any type of video I will vote without you have go to hell which you mind I don't mind my statement I don't mind our statement and we shall go score free I think we owe you apology who's not making who's not making statement are you uh, this, Oh, oh, they are are I'm, I'm so sorry. Let me. I'm, I'm so, some idiot are provoking me because I need to give their friends the orientation of course they know already. I'm just trying to remind some of the idiots. The Femi Adeshina was telling us that he's professing to worry that uh, we should give our land to Fulani for Ruga. I will pay with our life. Is that not a careless statement? And that should, I should be mind my word, mind my, my mouth. I believe mind my mouth. Please let me give the microphone to the person of uh, uh, um, um, uh, the, 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 the last person to speak before we round up is the person of uh, IPOB, uh, uh, son of IPOB. Please. Uh, Take the microphone and give your contribution. Uh, I believe uh, the, 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 last, the, the last person should be uh, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, no, the son of IPOB have not spoken. 
Okay, okay, let me give let me give a month first before uh I give some of Okay, no so problem, no problem. Give... Okay. Thank you very much, uh, my fellow comrade. And I don't talk everything finish. Uh -huh. As I would not talk and I saw it be. As it is now, uh, there is no retreat, no surrender in as far as say, this struggle of the Afra Day concern. And uh, it has been confirmed by the Nigerian government by themselves that say I was supreme with that day for their or that their custody by kidnapping him, no to anybody against the uh, they go against the international law. They go against every law where we say he guide every freedom fighter for that place. So for that simple reason, uh, we they let this the Janjawi control government of Nigeria to let them know say we don't want to make any single hair come up for this to come up for our supreme leader body as it is today. As all of them don't know say our supreme leader is not a terrorist. Even when they try to tag a terrorist, the international body let them know say he's not a terrorist. So as it is, his wife and his, his family, uh, his children, they're there for British, they're there for Britain, and they wait for him, that they miss him, they need to see him. And every other, every Biafra all over the world, the whereabouts of our supreme leader is released, they're very, very concerned about us. So with the letter, they know say if Shukugimi can be working freely, that's fair. Say now he can be now he can be between bandit and the every indigenous people when they occupy the north. Anybody with a kid and I go to solicit for there is not being arrested. Patami they will alert Patami the uh, part of the government of Nigeria a no terrorist. With the letter, no say we don't want any single hair to come off our supreme leader body. The the, the, the doctor confirmed say. After the touch and when the touch on for Kayan is part of heart, they don't they don't they large thirty percent. Made a measure say that do the needful for his his state to come back normal. We don't want to hear any story. This has this will not be nineteen sixty seven or this has got to do you not get it to do with say that they fight for it. This is this are, as a, he do not actually talk on. It will resolve ethnic ethnic war. It will resolve religion war. It will it will resolve a lot of things. So whatever you are doing with our supreme leader Masina Nikano. Do it with care and with a tell them that make on a religion with immediate effects. So that this message I will get this very Sunday to tell everyone of the Janjawi government of Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, much. Oh, hey, like I said before, you know, <clears throat> you can see what is happening now is because uh, if you see now, this is uh, Gumi, which is this smelly pig. Is their own. They are protecting their own. You see, the world, the whole, the whole world know that these people are terrorists. But what they fail to understand is that they are scared that if they left, if they leave Biafra to go, Biafra will be the best country in the world. They know what we can do. We can talk one single pain to a million. They know because we are blessed by Chico Kika Biama. So they are afraid of that. You know what I mean? So, like what my sister said, I commend her for that. Our leader is there, is, is in, the, in the custody of DSS. They should protect him. They should even protect him for all, because if anything happened, because uh, because uh, if anything happened, not only the zoo will face it, British will face it. Because we will fight British to the core, and we will fight the Fulani to the core. Because if you go to the if if you if you check the mat the case now, Fulani don't have any power. They don't have any identity. They don't have it. They have not been to war. It is the British who are telling them see what to do. Giving them brain. You know what I mean? They are the pain of British. For the world not to know who is doing all this. That is why they put British. That is why they put Fulani along. So the world will not be saying that, okay, now there are people, there are black people, they are the one fighting. British is involved. I'm still saying it consistently. So what will happen is that uh, they, should pro they should make sure our leader is in good head. Because if anything happens to our leader, I swear to God, many people, will go, many people will go back home. You know, the war, we will take it once and for all. May we die. I've, I've already, uh, like our, our leader is, uh, have already been saying it, that... Uh, a time we come away because we are past the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, I, oh I forget what our leader said that the uh, protocol I forget what he said. The, the the no, uh, the, this time there is no as in, Rubicon. Thank you, thank you. The Rubicon. Yeah, Rubicon. No, as in, this time is no return. This time, evil said if if his enemy died or live, 
Biafra, that will make Biafra to come quickly. And we know our leader will be alive. He will witness the restoration of Biafra. He will be the one to announce the restoration of Biafra. You know what I mean? You know, but uh, if you watch all his brokers before he, before this is issue that happened, that is why he gave us some to be reading because he know there is a time like this will happen because our leader is a very spiritual man. You know what is about to happen. So he know that a time like this will be very, very, very critical. So we, his disciple, we must be strong and we must do the needful. Like as we are talking, he need our, he, as in, he need us the he now he need us the most because they know that if our leader comes comes out now, the war will come to an end. Because now, if our leader comes out now, now now as we are talking now, they are even, they, they, by now there is there is negotiation. Well, take your five steps and go. I believe our leader he will never bite to it. When our if our leader come out now, you will see that there will be referendum. That is why he said that when the war starts, he will be the one leading in the front. So. This is the front one. This is the, this is what he's doing now. You know what I mean? So all what we'll be doing, he need our prayer and he need our support. He need our support never before. This time we need to be consistently brutal. We must do something to make sure that we prove the wrong, the word wrong. Already, like uh, uh, the Prime Minister of Britain uh, of uh, Prime Minister of Israel sent a, a notice to Nigeria that. They know that uh, they have arrested the indigenous people of Yab, the leader, which is our leader, Mazin and Bikalo, that they should, they have violated the law of the uh, of, of international law. And if anything happened to him, they will face the consequences. Because the, the new leader of uh, uh, Israel just mentioned it. But we are not depending on anybody. We, the Biafra, we will take it upon ourselves. We will do it. Oh, hey, Biafra. Quick, we go. Quick, we seize. You seize their oh, quick. Oh, 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 hey, Biafra. Uh, I want to add to what uh, our brother have just said. Uh, we receive, I received a call. I don't know where that one is coming from, but it was not audible when Omote was speaking, so I could not call cut Omote off because it was not in a very good background. Anyway, that is that anyway. Uh, when he said that the zoo people have to protect our leader, I think it is a wrong statement. I think uh, who, who is even telling them to protect him because they know that they cannot, they, you know, they can't somebody you just say, uh, you know, toil with. You understand me? So they don't have option that to just let, you know, you know Sorry, everybody you know, have their space. You understand me? So they don't have any option they don't to, than to, you know, play along. I'm talking about the Nigerian media. They don't have any option. You know, they cannot visit your mate. You know, they cannot know your type. Now they cannot know your type. Now they cannot know your type. Now they, they, never, they, they never they jump anyhow ever since they, they jump like 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 cat and woman and in rashes all over the whole places. Eh? The, now Nigeria, Nigeria government has answering query. It's a shame, shame on Nigeria, shame on all, all of you. Now Nigeria government, nah, nah, they are no longer happy. They are not answering query. For those of you idiots who are happy, your government is not answering query. Now they cannot issue is not just uh, they arrest now they can now they are asking the query. This is what we call. Canada uh, call one arrest. We don't call what an arrest. They are answering query, query. She said, they can arrest now. Those are one of those arrests. Eh? You don't know what they can do. So, 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 you, you people better so lawyers when they talk before all of them, don't they talk now? You people better divert this really because you don't know if you don't you don't know what it means. So it will cause a lot. I want to be this religious war if you are not ready for it because this is when it be if you are a judge and with considering us as an if they part to the wait, to the north. Wait, I thought. I thought their fellow, one of their fellow criminals, have already allowed them that the, there is a time that the, a time will come. They will start all the old useless pastors, all the old useless so-called men of God. They will face the same heat in a way whereby they will cry. Nobody will hear their voice. They will scream to the highest level of their voice, but nobody will hear them. And that time is well approaching. Let me now say this. <laughs> Not only uh, the zoo go give you now. Because as they give you now, even with the common people, we go give you now. We go give them. None of them escape this struggle. I, I, I know you uh, to... have, we have, we have a caller, please. Let me just uh, give me. Uh, uh, okay, caller, please. Your name and where you call it from. Please be all people and. Uh... Okay, um, my name is John, and I'm calling from the United States of America. And uh, I thank you guys uh, for what you guys are doing. And uh, I thank you guys for, you know, being resolute and being truthful. 
there is an important thing I want I want to keep it in the air right now. First and foremost, I want everybody to pray for our leader, Maze Namdekano. That's number one. Keep him in your prayers every day. Number two, I want to assure everybody that Imam Dekano has conquered here and he's ready to die. The information reaching us today was he has refused to eat. He don't want to eat their food. And DSS right now, they are nervous, they are afraid. And right now, they don't want anything to happen to Imam Dekano. Because Nandi Kano, they arrested two years ago. It's not the same Nandi Kano today. I want to assure everybody that there is a spirit that is holding in Nandi Kano. If you have never eaten a day, I wonder how you're going to be. Let alone somebody who has never eaten. You refuse to eat their food and he is still living. I want to show everybody that he is not going to die. What I want to tell everybody right now, people are talking about arresting, arresting Nandekano. If Nandekano is wanted person, go to the domain of Interpol. You will see a lot of people who are under watch to be arrested. Unam Dekano has never been put under watch. If Unam Dekano is under watch, I don't think he would even fly out from Britain to Kenya. I want to show everybody that British are in hand of this thing going on. Because they know they cannot be able to arrest Unam Dekano in their own land. They know the law. And that's why they use an African unlawful country to do the good for them. But what I'm assuring everybody is, whoever listening to me, who can pass this information to DOS or my phone, I don't know how to reach them. There should be a lawsuit, a lawsuit, a lawsuit, a lawsuit against the Kenyan government and British government and international criminal court. We should not always rely on Jaja Whitcock because Nandikano was right. He was adopted. He was kidnapped. Using the word arrest is a threat. He wasn't arrest. And nobody can show a paper. Nigerian government could not even say we are going to arrest Nandikano. He was beaten in Kenya. His heart was swollen up to 13%. This is against human rights. This is against his own rights. Moreover, Nandika has denied Nigerian as a citizen. He wasn't born in Nigeria. He was born in Diaz in 1967. When you see his birth certificate, it shows Diaz. He never showed his birth certificate has nothing to do with Nigeria. Right now, what we want everybody to do right now is rather. It doesn't matter if they hold in the Kano. The same thing is what happened to Ambazonia. They hold their leader. Right now, the Cameroonian government is finding it difficult. Because Ambazonia has a, they have unleashed the devil. They are killing a lot, a lot of Cameroonian soldiers. Every Ambazonia right now carry guns. Every man in Ambazonia carry guns. They know how to shoot. Right now, Cameroonians are begging. So let me tell everybody right now, the only thing we need right now is to pray, and the only thing we need is to sue them against the human treatment. The last thing I want to tell you guys right now is, my brother was killed in the Kano. He has a friend from his circle. They were living in Kano, and they were doing buying and selling. My brother was killed, and that insulted man was killed too. The Fulani man don't know if you are a coastal diaphragm or they see you as a diaphragm. It doesn't matter who you are. The same struggle to us in diaphragm land, they have the same struggle to us 
and kill any people. They will kill any people do this very thing you are a star in the full island, they kill you, they kill your family. And that is why you see everybody in the full island never need a time to talk. That is what we need to start in just a life. You should tell that that you are a star to we do with you. I want everybody to, to be resident. Don't fear anybody. Don't fear anybody. Don't worry what the matter they are telling you. Even people stay in their commenting doing all kind of trash. Because we know that what we are doing, we try to save our we try to save our own people. I have been in the United States for the past twenty years. I'm afraid to go home. No matter I'm really comfortable, but my people back home. I feel for them. I don't understand when I the food that it is over there that made them not to understand and think forward. When you leave the show of Jesus and travel to other people, it's your color. Okay, uh, color. Okay, color. Uh, round up, please. Just try round up. Thank you. I see you are in the spirit. Okay. Okay. Thank you, brother. What I'm trying to say is right now, everybody should be Thank you so much too. Thank you so much, brother. Watching the kid. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. You you are highly in the spirit, scholar. You are highly in the spirit. Please, I have one again. Please give your attention to listen. Because these are the kind of callers we want, those who understand. Even when you don't understand, of course, we are expecting your call as well. So, Miputamono, Genewe, Oli, say, Chuko, continue to bless every one of us. I believe that from here, we'll be rounding up the program, although uh, we, okay, today we, we, we're making a very quick one. The caller that called in have also, you know, accumulated the spirit of every other <laughs> Should I still pick one or two calls? I still get a lot of other calls. Please let me just pick like one or two, please, to give them that uh, opportunity, please. Our, yeah, time, yeah. our time, we decide to... Uh, two minutes, please. Make oh. your contribution, so we go. Please, you have to talk to me. Uh, stop listening to your device. Please, two minutes. Sorry to hasten you, Kola, because we are already trying to round up. Wow. Yeah, because I know that, yes, I know that uh, we are here in Botswana, we are trying to organize the evils here, or some are believing, some are backsliding, and we will have a kind of a association called Mbisen in Botswana here. So we try to do so many things to contribute, both finance and... Hello? Right on, right on, right on. You don't have to listen to yourself. You're all right, so, don't so Yes, yes, we are trying to do everything, you know, to support this struggle because every day we cry, we see what is happening in our land, and it, and we are trying to, you know, make some contribution to us to support. But one thing, one thing that tends me a lot, I want us to do is that I know that many guys, many IPOP, many many guys is outside their country, and all these stupid and nonsense politicians, their kids are outside their country. And me, I'm thinking to myself, any of them like be in this place is going to go down. I think it's high time we start teaching them. Of course, of course, we are getting there. Yeah, we are getting there without no apology yeah, to any idiots. They can't speak now. Thank you very and much. Everybody has been quiet. It's better we start hitting them. We'll hit them. We'll hit them. It's coming there. We are, we are getting there. there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Colas. Uh, you made your point, and uh, of course, IPB have heard you. The word is hearing. Of course, it is not a new thing. This is a struggle for survival. This is not a polite uh, uh, platform where we are going yeah. to be, uh, you know, diplomatically pulling. No, we are going to be, you know, undiplomatically wise. Mm -hmm. So that uh, mm -hmm. that uh, note, we have closed for the day. Uh, uh, we we'll see you on next Sunday, and uh, remain resolute, remain strong. Remain strong, and I will leave us with this statement. You know, I will say that uh, the safety of Mazan Ekano is also the safety of the different politician. I know what I'm trying to say this day often and often again. Yes, it is your own safety. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right, uh, my brother, because uh, you are right, my brother, Dudu. Because uh, if uh, 
if our our leader life is in there, their life is in, also in danger because they know Manga. what Manga. we are unleash on them. We will unleash evil on them. Don't worry. Don't yeah. worry. Very soon, Nigeria will very soon Nigeria will be a desert. It will be a desert. Don't worry. Even in his detention, even in incarceration, Oh, my dear, in Adigano. Oh, my dear, oh, hey, Biafra. So we're signing out. Oh, hey,